What's up guys, it's Blue and Guy, and welcome back to another episode part of Septo Conquest. In the last part, we got through, um, we saw the town of Balthia Rocks, and, or Balthia Rock actually, and now we're going to go ahead and find this thief of Pokemon, Bill. And there he is, oh, it looks the same. Oh, really? Wait, ask me a question. Yes, I am a male. And I push you into the machine. And then let's see this. What is what's this gonna happen? What are they gonna change here? Yeah, the death ray. That's seems legit. What happened there? Oh, it's Agatha. Don't tell me not to battle Agatha. I don't even have well actually I have um Sky Maiden. Can't go and play like this. Take this and leave. You gave me an SS ticket. Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. Fat chance. All right. Let's see what happens here. Very classy. All right. Anyway, since we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video ahead to me getting there because with all the random encounters and stuff, it's a lot easier. And you already know where I came from, so be back in a bit. And we're back. So now we're going to be taking on the Baron of this land, Baron Greg. Now, if you guys haven't known yet, I kind of overleveled. And before actually, actually before I get into that, uh, I'm gonna go buy some supplies real quick. And I'm back. I got some super potions, only two. That's all I really needed. Um. Because I don't like spending a lot of money. Because I know this region's weird and has a lot of stuff. So yeah, getting back to the thing at hand, uh, I did over level for this. I don't know if it over level would be the right word, but I leveled good enough to take on the Baron myself. And it was this Baron was ridiculous. I mean, second gym leader, second Baron. Yeah, I had to level them up pretty, pretty heavily, and you'll see why. This Baron, man. This Baron. I'm glad I beat him. Melon. Anyway, sends out this Jinx, level 20. Now already, I, you saw me at like level 16. So, first time I took this guy on, like off screen, had to do something about it. So what I had to do was paralyze Jinx, and I guess sacrificing Jessica because, well, she can't take a nice punch. Sorry, Jessica. Anyway, now Skyman's gonna do some work. I'm gonna go ahead and just peck it. Hopefully, yep. Look at that crit hit. My girl Skyman doing a job. Look at that. And now the thing about this Jinx is it sets up Calm Mind. I don't know why it's gonna set up on a Skarmory, but it, it is. Super potions, of course. But what I like to do is keep hitting the Pokemon until it dies. If that crit hit literally did not come in. I would have never won this battle because that Jinx is the is completely horrible. So now I'm just gonna use Swift because it always hits. And Sky, my girl Sky made it doing the job. Look at her, look at her, so proud. And he sends out this Sneasel, which is completely weak and worthless. Seriously, I'm gonna just send out Sweeton to wall this thing. I can't believe I said wall in a Pokemon game. Not a match, a game. So I'm just gonna use withdrawal because all it's gonna do is spam ice punch, nothing else. No sweeper. Yeah, no sweeper. So I'm just gonna withdraw, raise my defenses. Of course, it can do that ice punch all at once. <laughs> Excuse me. And eventually I'll be all right. Look at that. Not even doing anything. I'm gonna do maybe a couple more withdrawals just to get the wall up because I don't think at this point it's not doing any damage and I doubt it's gonna get frozen so I'll just keep withdrawing so then we could just sit there and make this face it's not working you could just it's just gonna sit there and do that and I'm just gonna keep withdrawing he, does, he has another move I think it's maybe quick attack I don't remember but yeah now I think I'll attack Let's see, it's probably not going to do much. 
Yeah, doesn't do much. Level difference plus Sneasel has pretty decent special defense compared to its regular defenses. And my Squirtle is not an attack type. It's a defensive thing. So yeah. Health getting kind of low, so I guess Torn will kick in, right? Maybe. I hope so. No, it didn't kick in yet. Either it did or... Seriously, Squeezon, come on. Now... I'm just gonna keep water gunning. Just in case for a crit hit, because I know stuff like this happens at the last second. I'm gonna heal up, sweet tone. Let's see where that takes us. No crit, no problem. Oh yeah, I thought I had something there. Um, I'm gonna use water gun. He's gonna keep ice punching me, making that face. It's not working, it's not working. Yo. Do something else. You have more moves. <sighs> I guess not. Unless he's scarfed, which would be creepy and uncalled for. It'd be really uncalled for. Scarfed? And I get a crit hit on one gun the last time. Good game, dude. Baron Greg has been defeated. And I have the Cascade badge, and I mugged him. Uh huh. Oh no. Of course. Mm-hmm. 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 Of course. Very classy of Septo Conquest. And now I own this land. I own this pile of rocks on an island, and I can't battle nobody else. Yeah. I didn't bother talking to that, that guy in the middle, because he wouldn't tell me nothing except maybe fun dialogue. But that's not we're, what we're about, right? So yeah. Now that I've defeated Baron Greg, finally, I can move on to the next town. But before I do that, I guess I'll heal up. Over here. I'm gonna heal up over here. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Except maybe go to the next town, but that's basically it. Well, guys, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the battle. Uh, it did take a lot. Jessica, don't worry, I'll make it up to you next episode part thing. I'll make it up to you next part. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.